like what advice maybe you would you want to give to the single mothers out there who are trying to find love again and move oh. forward in their life on a relationship basis and hopefully get married too? Yeah, so that's actually a really good question. I'm glad you asked that. So we're we're gonna kind of segue into a little bit of a long story here. And uh, you know, forgive me for a second, I'm put my hair up. <laughs> it gets on my nerves and my face. Um, She's getting ready, everyone. So prepare for the story. She's getting ready. <laughs> Not in a bad way. No, this is actually a very positive, motivational way. Um, no, I'm actually re really glad that you brought that up because our dynamic is a little bit different. So. Um, it's taken me a lot of time and a lot of therapy um, over the years to get where I'm at now. Um, but um, so my husband is not actually my daughter's biological father. Um, I was with her, her biological father and I were friends for many years when I got divorced from my previous husband. I made the mistake like a lot of women do. I mean, you know, you can bash me for it or you can empathize with me. I know we've all done it. We've all been there at least once or twice. Some people haven't, but I know, you know, I, I'm not the only one, basically. Um, I ran into his arms. He knew how to manipulate me. And we were together for about two and a half years. And um, we split up. And it was about three months after we split up. That was when I found out I was pregnant. And um, he promised me he was going to be there and he was going to stay. And two weeks later, two weeks to the day later, he left me. And he went back to the mother of his other children, which ironically is so funny because she left him to go back to the guy that she cheated on him with. <laughs> so it's, just a, it's a revolving circle of nonsense, which is why I ran away from it, got away from it. So he he called me, said I'm leaving, I'm never coming back. And I said, oh, deuces. I moved. I left Texas. I came to Arkansas. I've been here for 10 years now. It was 10 years on February 1st. And um, my daughter was about one and a half years old, I believe, when I met Cameron. And I think she met him when she was two. Um, I was very particular about that. And I I had a I had a friend that I worked with um, because I was a bartender back then and he wanted to hook me up with one of his old college buddies. And I was like, I eh, know I work six days a week. I just want to raise my kid. I want to be single. You know, that that's what I want. A year later, you know, who comes rolling in and just sits there and We've been together ever since. And, you know, we're 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 going through the adoption process currently. Sorry, I'm like, so I, we're all getting over strep and I'm like super dehydrated. And I'm so sorry. Thank you. Um, But like. Uh, my whole like. It was one of those things where. I don't know. This get this gets hard because so it was one of those things where like I met him and it was a year later and it was not supposed to be. And then I spent time with him and I got to know him, found out that Matthew was trying to hook us up the entire time. And I was a single mom at that time. I didn't want anything to do with it. I just wanted to raise my kid and work. Well, that's what I wanted to do. And then here comes my husband and he just sweeps me off my feet. And, you know, like I, when I say I was in a million pieces when he met me, I mean that. And over almost a decade, he has helped me slowly put every little bit back together. And he has accepted our daughter as his own. Um she doesn't know that he's not her biological father yet. Not saying that that topic's never going to come up. And if it does, we are going to be very honest. We're not going to shade her on that. We're not going to do that. Um, we are in the middle of the adoption process. So her last name is going to legally change to his last name. Um, he, her, I don't even know if this is appropriate, her sperm donor, is not even on her birth certificate at all whatsoever. Like, I'm the only listed parent on her birth certificate. So once we finalize the adoption, we'll get a new birth certificate, 
my name will be on there. My husband's name will be on there. And, you know, like his family takes her in as their own. They love her as their own. And, you know, I just, to me, it was really weird at first and I didn't know how to feel about it. It took me a long time to get to that point of, is this okay? Like, am I doing the right thing as a mother? Am I jeopardizing her? I don't think it was the wrong thing, but at the same time, I also think I took the time for myself to be a mom and a single parent. And I think that I took the time to get to know him and build a relationship with him before I allowed him into my daughter's life. And a lot of people don't do that. And, you know, it's, it's, I I don't really know how to feel on that. I just know that I came from childhood trauma and abuse and I never wanted my daughter to experience anything like that. You know, it's going to come up one day. It's going to, and we are going to have to have that conversation, but my husband, are very much one team and we have agreed that we are going to talk to her together about that and do what we need to do to make her comfortable whatever choice she decides to make my husband is going to support her because that's his daughter at the end of the day she is going to see who loved her who raised her she knows who her dad is you know and they say blood is thicker than water. It It isn't. Sometimes it isn't, you know, like that is her daddy. You can't tell her any different. And you can't tell him any different. 